Good evening, myself for post it is May th No Saturday. May No eight. Yes. No. Yes, what is it? Is it chocolate Sunday? No, it's oh. Slurpy Saturday. Yay, we're getting slurpees? Maybe. Oh brilliant. So today we're shooting a music video for the legendary Jared Brooker. Hello. Doing his rendition of who is it? Gary Jules. Gary Jules, Mad World. Well yep. originally by Tears for Fears. That's right. Um and yeah, we've got some shots in the backyard, and now we're going to go downtown and film some busking shots. We're probably going to get bombarded by 12-year-olds uh, in vans and um, quarter shorts, giving us the finger. But I'm willing to take that risk for some award-winning shots. So right now I'm just editing the footage that we shot last night at the church. It is absolutely fantastic because there's so many continuity and errors in there that we put in there on purpose, just because we thought it would be funny, and it really is. I'm not sure if many people will notice it, but I don't know. Here's a little sneak preview of what we've got in store of continuity errors as it comes to that. Uh, now, bite-sized pieces, please. Oh, okay. there's the mic. Oh, watch your fingers. Okay, now, put the, put the knife down now. Yep, now we'll place this carefully into the bowl, let's put the knife down first. <laughs> I, just, I just mysteriously have the knife again. Okay, so I decided to finish editing all of this uh, music video that I shot today in one go. Um, just in one day, I'm going to do a pre-render, a selective pre-render, so then I know that everything is good, but for now I'll just show you what I have done. Um, I've been running on seven channels. Here's what they are. One is the actual audio track for the song. The other one is a handheld camera, a steady cam. There's just a shot of him sitting, a shot of him lying, a shot of him standing up. And then the top one is just, um, it's unnamed because it's only used this much in the entire thing. So basically what I did is, say for example, um, I wanted to use this shot, so I dragged everything else down and then kept the opacity of this up. I basically dragged the opacity of everything down, so then it'll make it easier for me, so then I only have to drag a specific thing up when I want it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a... do you want a little... do you want a, a tour? It's only in um, standard definition interlaced right now, but hell, it does alright. Here's... It's a steady cam shot. That's the handheld. That's the sitting one. That's the standing. And that's the lying one. So yeah, that's um, pretty good how I've I reckon for the amount of time I put in, I've definitely done done enough, and I mixed and mastered everything audio-wise too, so that's good. Everything was built up from scratch, and now I'm gonna do a selective pre-render. Wanna watch me do that? Let's see. Doop. Uh, select all of it, and then da -da, selectively pre-render video. NTSC DV widescreen. Okay, render, and then. It prepares it for the render, and I'll see if it actually works. If it shows up on this screen down here, does it? Yes, it does. Fantastic. So now I'll wait a fair while for that. Okay, so I've got some good and bad news. The, f the bad news first up is I left my mouse at Carlos's place, so now I have to use this car mouse. The car mouse sucks as a mouse, but it's awesome at everything else because it has headlights on the uh, headlight area, and it is a mouse that looks like... Car. Okay, we've established that, and the good news is that I decided to edit everything on that um, Mad World music video, so here it is on the YouTube channel. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is some fantastic vision right there. Alright, um, it's on the dis- You're a dick, iPhone. Here we go. Oh, yeah, any second. It's on the Destructible Cow YouTube page. Just there. Um, and the- you press the play button and you know a whole bunch of stuff could happen primarily maybe the video plays but you know who knows um anyway i should go now